Hey everybody, it's Troy. Before we get started with today's video, I want to go ahead and thank everybody right now. I'm almost at 13,000 subscribers, and this is really above and beyond anywhere I thought this channel would ever reach. But it just keeps growing, and the reason it does is because of the viewers like you that actually watch it, so thank you very much. I would also like to ask those of you that do watch my videos, if you do like the videos, please hit that like button. That puts me in the YouTube algorithm and lets more people see what you're watching. And if you find value in it, there's other people out there that will as well. If you don't want to subscribe, I totally understand. But if you're interested in the things I cover, please hit that subscribe button. So that way you can be notified of when I do drop a new video. Now, what I want to cover today is I've done a couple of videos in the past. Uh, I've done EBA, Shut the F Up, Microsoft Must Be Stopped. I've also covered some other things about Microsoft's practices and things that I just really do not agree with. Well, I didn't know in making those videos that I would get certain people that would come out of the woodwork and say that my coverage of what Microsoft is doing is kind of demeaning. It's kind of uh, rude, for lack of a better word. And by saying this, I'm going to show you one of the recent comments, which isn't the only comment I've received, but it's one that really gets down to the bread and butter of what this viewer is trying to say. Now, this comment was left on my eBuzz Shut the F Up, and this is when I got pushback. What I did is I covered a video basically letting the Linux community know the things that Microsoft is trying to do hardware-wise with their hardware partners to kind of lock their hardware down to not be able to use Linux and people would come back and say, you know, there's workarounds. And my, my biggest fear is what happens when they flip that switch and there's not a workaround. And at the end of the video, I basically stated, okay, I'm going to lay off Microsoft while get back to covering Linux because I know that people out there want to know more about Linux and the Microsoft bashing might have been getting overwhelming. Well, I had a lot of viewers that actually said they liked me covering the Microsoft and they liked having that information and it helped them make decisions in the future on what kind of hardware they're going to support and buy. Well, this viewer said, backing away from bashing Windows is the best thing you have done. Everybody is different and their likes and dislikes are different too. Just because people that use Windows does not make them any different than people that use Linux. Now, I want to stop right there because I never said it made you different. I never said that people that use Windows are oddballs. People that use Windows are losers. I never said that. And that's what he's kind of putting in front of people right now. I have never attacked anybody for using the software that they feel comfortable with. I've even stated in my Linux videos that if you feel comfortable with Google Chrome, use it until you can get more comfortable with a different browser that doesn't track you. I've said that. I've also said whatever operating system and whatever software works for you, use it. But if you're using it, here are the things that that operating system or that company is doing in the background with your information and your privacy. I like to bring that above board and tell people. He continues by saying, I would like to go on and on, but with the likes of you, it is a waste of time. Now, right here, he takes a shot at me. He basically states that I am wired one way, and that's the only way I am, and I won't have a discussion or I won't have an educated thought process of talking about a specific comment or something I've said in the past. I am quite opposite of that. I am very open to speak to people. What I want people to know is if you're using Google, you're using Microsoft, you're using Apple, these companies collect your information. They collect what you do online. They put this all together and it almost is like a uh, when the FBI goes after trying to track down a serial killer, they've got a profile. In that profile, they can pretty much match that to who they believe the suspect is. All these companies have a profile on you. They know what where you like to shop. They know what bank you use. They know your daily routine. They know where you travel, especially if you're carrying a phone. They know where you are anytime, day or night. They can tell you whether you're in a car, whether you're in a bus, whether you're at home what you're watching, what you're searching. They track you and they got this profile on you and they sell that to advertisers. And they advertise to you with these inundated ads constantly on your hardware. 
whether it be a PC or whether it be a, a laptop or whether it be your mobile phone in your pocket. They have this profile on you. And Google takes it a step further by collecting all this information and saving it on servers. Microsoft does the same thing. Well, I responded to this comment by saying, with people the likes of me, and when did I bash people that use Windows? I've never done that, but I will point out that I bash Microsoft and their business practices and try to enlighten people as to exactly what it costs you to be a member of the Windows flock, whether it be security, privacy, or your identity as a whole, because all you are is a number to them that they can market to advertisers. I say repeatedly on my channel, if you've watched any of my videos, use what makes your job easier. That's what I responded. Well, he come back. I'm not misled. I use Linux way more than I do Windows. Those of us that you do use Windows feel degraded when you bash Microsoft. Now, let me ask you something. I'm going to be quite honest here. If you feel degraded when you see a video of me bashing Microsoft, is that my fault or is that your fault because you know deep down inside what Microsoft is doing to you, but you refuse to acknowledge it? and you refuse to get away from it. I don't know how me, speaking about a company, a multi-billion dollar corporation, collecting your data ruthlessly can degrade you. How is that degrading you? How is that telling you, you know what, because you use Microsoft, you're less of a person. I've never said that. I've always said, use what makes you happy. Now, if what I say about Microsoft or what I say about Google, or what I say about Apple, and I'm speaking the truth, I back it up in my videos, I show you exactly the documentation, and I show you the articles that cover these things. If I point those out to you, and you feel degraded, it's because you know what I'm saying in the video is true, and you refuse to remove yourself from that situation. That's my opinion, that's the way I feel. And then he follows it up and finishes it, if you hate Microsoft so much, then please keep it to yourself. No, I'm not going to. I hate their business practices. If Microsoft come out tomorrow and said, we're making Windows open source, we're removing all the telemetry that's involved with it, you can have it free to use, we're not tracking you, we're not collecting any information, we're not shoving advertisements down your neck, I wouldn't have a problem with them. What I'm pointing out is the fact that all of these services that you use whether it be Microsoft, Google, Apple, that are free and you just can't wean yourself off of because, quite frankly, some people need it for their jobs. But then there are other people that are just too lazy to even try to use something different that is more free. Now, I'm not saying that in a demeaning way. What I'm saying is you're used to that. What I'm saying is once you bow down to that and say, I love all these services and I'm not leaving, you have to understand that your privacy, your security, your freedom in that ecosystem is gone. You are now profiled and you're going to be profiled from that company with whether it be advertisements or new products they want to serve you or tracking or whatever. If you accept that and you say, I can deal with that because I want to use this and then you see a video of me saying these things are wrong and Microsoft needs to change them and you feel demeaned or degraded in any way, that's your problem. That's not mine. If you don't like my videos, I've said it in the past, don't watch them. But I will continue to speak the truth and I will always let people know when Microsoft or Google or Apple is in some way infringing on their rights, whether it be freedom, security, whatever it might be, I will cover it. And if you don't like it, then don't watch my channel. I won't miss you. Now, if I've said anything in this video you disagree with, or if I've said something in the video you do agree with, please let me know about it in the comments below. Do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel buying us a cup of coffee, going over to PayPal and throwing us a donation, or zip on over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.